Okay, here we are back with um, Unit I Review of Electrostatics um, Section of Part 3. Okay, so we have this uniform electric field. Um, if I put a charge, it's got it's 10 newtons per, cool, per coulomb. That's the electric field strength. Um, I'm going to put a tenth of a coulomb right here. So I'm going to put a charge here. That's um, It's going to be um, 100 grams. That's the mass, and the charge is um, 0 0.1 coulombs. That's the charge, and it's positive, so positive 0 0.1 coulombs. And um, the question I'm going to ask you is, um, what would be the acceleration of this charge? Go ahead and see if you can figure out what the acceleration of this charge is going to be. Okay, the, um, the force on this charge is going to be is going to be Q times E. So that's going to be, um, the Q is 0.1 coulombs. And the E is 10 newtons per coulomb. So the force is um, 1 newton. So the acceleration of this, of this charge will be 1 newton divided by its mass, 0.1 kilograms. So that will be 10 meters per second squared. And which way will it accelerate? That way. If you wanted to know how far it would, how um, fast it would be going one, one meter after you released it from rest, if that were one meter, then all you do is um, you'd say V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta X, we'll say. And V initial squared is zero. So the V final squared will equal 2 times 10 meters per second squared. And that's 1 meter. So that gives me 20, so the square root of 20. So V final will equal the square root of 20 meter squared over second squared, whatever that is, four point something or other. Okay, um, next one. Now we have um, two plates. These aren't, these aren't lines. These are actually two plates. And um, they're charged one, the top plate's positive, the bottom plate's negative. Can you tell me what the electric field will look like in between the plates? Could you see if you can draw it? Okay. Um, it's going to look like this because that's the direction a positive test charge would go if you let go of it. It's going to go down like that. All right, so um, let's send a, um, a charge of Q, positive Q, careening straight into here. And um, the question is, uh, you, it's going to go like this and maybe hit the plate. But how, how long is it going to take, or is, how far will it go downrange before it hits the plate? How far downrange will it go? Um, let's have uh, my, I need to give you some more information. This is a mass M, and the electric field strength is E. So can you tell me, um, and this, the initial velocity in here, is V. So it's got a, an initial velocity of, um, let's say V naught. Okay, so how far down range will it go? Go ahead and, and stop the, the video and see if you can figure out the, the range. See you in a bit. Okay, well, um, let's break it into X and Y components. And so um, in the, let's just list all our knowns in both of these. We know that the V initial in the X direction is zero. However, there will be no acceleration in the x direction because the force on this will just be straight downward. Oh, v in the x direction is v naught rather. There is no v initial in the y direction because it's just going straight across. A in the y direction will be f net, which will be QE, f net over m. Let me just say it's QE all over m. 
Okay, so how long will it be um, going for? Um, I might use this equation, delta y equals v initial in the y direction times t plus one half a in the y direction times t squared. Oh, you needed to know this distance too. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Let's call that distance um, d. Half the distance between the plates is d. So then I know that um, d is equal, this whole term cancels, there is no velocity in the y direction, is equal to one half. Now a is q times e over m times t squared. So t looks like it's uh, 2md. Can you see all this down there? Bring that m and the 2 up there over qe. Square root it. Okay, so now come on over here and delta x equals v naught in the x direction times t plus 1 half a in the x direction t squared. It's a good review for projectile motion. Now there is no ex acceleration in the x direction, it's just in the y, so get rid of that term. And so delta x is going to just be v naught times t. So that's what delta x is. All right, last one. We have a, we have a charge Q, mass M. It's in this gravitational field we're on Earth. It's in a gravitational field that's downward. And um, there's an electric field also, and it's the electric field is either going this way, straight that way, or straight that way. It's, one, it's in the x direction. Which way do you think it is? Yeah, you're right. The electric field is going that way. Okay, and the question is, how big is E if the angle is theta and the mass of this is m and the charge is q? So how big is the electric field? All right, well, we'll put our force diagram. Go ahead and try that. Draw a force diagram and see if you can figure out what E is. Okay, we'll put our force diagram on here. Uh, this is mg. This is the force of tension right along that rope. Ft, and then um, the electric force is right here, and that's QE. Now, if that's stationary, that means that the force of tension, this force of tension, um, has to be in the x direction, Ftx, has to equal QE. And then the y direction, this force of tension, has to equal mg. So, um, Let's see, if this is theta, then this is theta. So this is Ft cosine of theta. And this one is Ft sine of theta. Um, why is this theta? If that's theta, can you see that these are ch -ch 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 parallel lines? And so th these are alternate interior angles. Uh, or you can do some leapfrogging to get from there to there. My picture isn't so good for that. Okay, so as I said, Ft times the sine of theta has to equal QE. And coming over here, Ft cosine of theta has to equal mg. Okay, let me solve uh, this for Ft sine of, uh, let me solve this. This is Ft, let's solve this one. Ft is equal to mg over cosine of theta. Now I'll bring that over here. So for Ft, I'm going to put in mg over cosine of theta times, that's just this, times the sine of theta is equal to QE. So I just took this Ft and I substituted it in for that right there. Okay, so this is mg tangent of theta is equal to QE. So E must equal mg tangent of theta over Q. Just in time. Thanks. Bye.